Hi friends, this is Miss Mora here, and I'm actually hopping on here today to talk to you a little bit about butterflies. And I know that a lot of our other teachers from Haymac have hopped on this Haymac YouTube channel to talk to you about butterflies already. We've had a lot of teachers teach us about the life cycle of butterflies and read us some books about caterpillars and butterflies. And I actually want to share with you today another really special book about butterflies. Um, but before we get to that, I do have some butterfly friends with me here. Um, they came to me as caterpillars and they've been growing through their life cycle. My class has been watching them grow on Zoom. And I do want to just show you them really Really quickly so if we take a look we actually have a butterfly friend right there if you can see nice and spread out for us and there are five butterfly friends in here all together there's another one up here so I just wanted to show you our little friends that are in here and if you take a look right behind me I actually have this um, chart that actually Miss Serpa made, and it shows us the life cycle of a butterfly. So these butterflies, they actually started right at the top as an egg, and then they hatched into a caterpillar, which is what they came to me as, and then they hardened into a chrysalis after they ate and ate and ate, then they became a butterfly, and that's what they are right now. And I'm actually going to read you a story in a second about butterflies. But I just wanted to show you my class actually named our butterfly friends. So we have five butterfly friends, and their names are Jack, Earth, Jeffy, Pete, and Sky. So those are our five friends that I have behind me here. Jack, Earth, Jeffy, Pete, and Sky. So I'm going to read you this story, and it's called Where Butterflies Grow. And I love this story, and I hope that you do too. So here we go. This is a growing place, green and warm and bright. Lift up a leaf and you may find someone ready to be born. Lift up a leaf and imagine. As you move your soft body, ripples flowing slowly, Along the green stems, you climb up the stems to eat the leaves. So it's talking about the caterpillar, which we can see right here. As you grow, you climb higher and higher where flowers spread like umbrellas. You nibble and eat the tiny white flowers. You eat and eat till your skin feels tight. Underneath, you have a new and bigger skin to grow into. You swallow air puffing up until you, your tight skin splits. Old and wrinkled, it falls away like cast off clothes. Look at you now in a new and striped suit. And here we can see the caterpillar, his old skin is falling off and his new skin is coming in underneath. And if you've ever watched the caterpillars grow, you see their old skin fall off. You grow and grow and grow, fat and full of flowers, until one day you stop looking for food. So here's our friend who's growing and growing as he's munching through the flowers. You creep along the ground, moving as fast as you can, hunting for some place tall and firm. You climb up a bare brown branch and make a silken string to rest in. Then you curl and stretch till your old skin splits loose and you wiggle, shaking your striped skin down and down until it falls away. What's he making now? Hmm. No longer a creeper. You rest. Look at a chrysalis. As you change, you turn darker, revealing your black wings and black body, bright yellow spots all tucked inside until one morning you are ready to burst in your twig-like shell. I love the illustrations in this story. They're so bright. So here's our chrysalis. He's turned darker in color and he's ready to burst out. So exciting. You crawl out wet, crumpled, new. So 
So this is our butterfly. He's just crumpled. His wings are not ready to fly yet. You dangle high on long, long legs and hang on tight. Your four wings slowly unfold, growing larger, growing brighter, full of bold colors. You wait, moving your wings and drying them, feeling them grow stronger and harder till a warm wind tickles you. Spreading your wings wide, you let go and fly higher and higher. You drift above the flowers, light and fragile, just like them. You touch nothing but the sky, flying far above the ground. Look at our butterfly now. Then you fly low from bright flower to bright flower, gently landing on the soft petals, tasting their sweetness. With your feet, you sip the sweet nectar through your curled, long tongue. Got a butterfly friend. You soar over the bare branches where you rested far above the growing place, where you crept from leaf to leaf and flower to flower. Those long summer days, you have grown and changed and your world has grown too. Now it's time to fly to new places, time to look for others just like yourself. Bright flyers in the sun, fly butterfly, goodbye. There he goes. The end. And today, I'm going to be releasing my butterfly friends to go fly free. They'll go from flower to flower, they'll sip nectar, they'll find other butterfly friends, they'll lay eggs to start the life cycle over again. I hope you enjoyed this story. I miss you and love you guys. Make sure to check out the other stories that other teachers have shared and the other videos other teachers have shared about the life cycle of butterflies and other facts about butterflies on our Haymack Reads YouTube channel. Bye guys.